this is by David Mackey. Can you see Elmer? There! Right there with all his colors. Wow, he is an elephant, but he is a little bit different. If he were to hide in my colorful clothes, I will not be able to find him so easily. Let's take a look at what he is going to do. Elmer, this is by David Mackey. Oh, there was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall or fat or thin. Elephants like this or like that, all different and happy. And all the same color. All that is except Elmer. Ah, oh, they might be different but they are all feeling the same. They all love one another and they are all happy. But they said there's one different. Different in color. Could this be Elmer? Hmm, no. This is Elmer! Elmer was different. Elmer was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elmer was not elephant color. Wow! Patchwork meaning to say it has many many bits and pieces joined together. See? Different patches. Patches of many different colors. It was Elmer who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants, sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elmer who started it. So he made all the elephant families feel very happy and all their smiles was because of him. Oh, but what is he doing? One night, Elmer couldn't sleep for thinking and the thing that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Whoever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Elmer slipped away quietly, unnoticed. Oh, Elmer didn't like being in a different colour and Elmer thought that every time they laughed, it wasn't that they were happy but because they were laughing at him. Hmm, do you really think so? Because I thought that they laughed was because that they liked him and they liked all his jokes and fun that they had with him. But he was going somewhere. What was he going to do? As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. They always said, Good morning, Elmer, each time. Elmer smiled and said, Good morning. So they all knew that this was Elmer because of? Yeah, because of his different colours and patchwork on his body. That's how they recognise him. And they would greet him. Then, after a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for. A large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant coloured berries. <gasps> elephant coloured berries means they are grey. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so that the berries fell onto the ground. What was he going to do with the berries? Is he going to eat all of them up so that he'll become a berry colour? I don't know. Oh, he did not eat the berries. Once the ground was covered in berries, Elmer lay down and rolled over and over this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't any sign of yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he was finished, Elmer looked like any other elephant. I see, that was what he's intending to do. He wants all the juice to be grey on his body so that it covers the colourful patches and then he will look like a grey elephant. Oh, do you see a colourful patchwork elephant? Hmm. After that, Elmer set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. And each time Elmer smiled and said, Good morning. 
pleased that he wasn't recognized. They all didn't call him Elmer because they could not see any colorful patchwork on him. They thought that this must be any other of the same gray elephants that they always see. So they just greeted him as elephant and he was very happy because he did not get recognized. When Elmer rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Elmer as he worked his way to the middle of the herd. <gasps> Did you know that this is Elmer? Now he's looking right all around him, all like the other elephants. After a while, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. The same old jungle, the same old bright sky, the same old red cloud that came over from time to time. And lastly, same old elephants. Elmer looked at them. See, this is Elmer. And he's looking to find out what is wrong. What's different? Oh, look at all the other elephants. What do you think they are feeling? I don't think they are happy because they are not smiling and they look like they are feeling very sad. The elephants were standing absolutely still. That means they are all not moving or frozen in a place. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious silent still standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could not bear it any longer. He lifted his trunk. And at the top of his voice, he shouted, Boo! Oh, everybody was shocked. Can you see their eyes all wide open? Because Elmer just let out a sudden, Boo! The elephants jumped and fell always in surprise. Oh my gosh, golly! They said, and then saw Elmer helpless with laughter. You see, he couldn't stop laughing. He likes to play all these jokes. Elmer! They said, it must be Elmer! Then the other elephants laughed too, as they had never laughed before. That means they have not felt so happy and joyful in a long while. And they all know that the only person who is able to make them feel so happy and funny must be Elmer. But do you think they know that this grey elephant is Elmer? Hmm. <gasps> As they laughed, the rain cloud burst and the rain fell on Elmer. His patchwork started to show again. Can you see? It's washing his berry juice away. The elephants still laughed as Elmer was washed back to normal. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself as elephant colour. <gasps> and that is what they did. So on this very day, they would decorate themselves and parade, meaning to say they show all their decorations to one another, they walk together in a place so that everybody can see their beautiful artwork on themselves. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant colour, you know it must be Elmer. So a monk here, who is Elmer? Hmm... Ding, 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 ding. That's right, right over there because he would have to be the grey like all the other elephants while the other elephants would become colourful with lots of different patterns just like Elmer on this very day. So they know how to love and respect one another even if they are different. And that's the end of Elmer!